Today, the video is extra special. Hazard 1 is the focus of today, and it is extra special because Hazard 1 is a woman. Now this isn't like a case of positive discrimination, and I'm not bigging her up just because she's a female, but because of the raw talent and precision perception she exhibits in all of her art. She is an international uh, artist too, with plenty of works in different places, and has a lot of work up and across the states. She has a ton of art in Bristol, and I hope you guys can enjoy the collection in this video. I spoke to her a few times on Instagram, and she's always been really helpful and super nice. She has immortalized big issue Jeff, so if you know who he is as well, you, you know that she definitely has a heart of gold and an angelic soul. Light up them spliffs and brew them teas whilst I get into the video. I'm trying to get to 150 subs by the end of the year. If you haven't subbed, remember, every time you sub, a kid somewhere gets a can of spray paint. And also share the video with some friends and family, some work colleagues, people you spray with, people you smoke with, anyone that really enjoys street art, I'd appreciate that too. Whatever she sprays, it becomes top tier, and I believe she enjoys spraying faces and animals quite a lot. Or maybe that's what I'm attracted to most, so it's what I believe and it's what I've collected to the most of us. But she has some real cracking imagery when it comes to people and animals. The people and animals, they're like photorealistic. It makes me think of Jodie too, which is a great comparison in my eyes. I don't know the correct terminology and the names of the styles at times, but she's basically a printer. She doesn't make mistakes like the rest of us humans would calculated, precise and colourful work, all which build to this immense and diverse portfolio of street art. I look at her artwork and it has such a natural look and at times it seems to me as if I was just looking for a window. This woman here is a great example. She was sprayed for St Paul's Carnival and there is so much personality and beauty in the work. Bristol was definitely made better with street art, especially having women painted all over our areas. I always when walking around and cycling around, when I spot a building site, I get that feeling that I might see something great. And then when I get closer and closer, I'm like always blown away. Coming from Bedford, we don't have this kind of stuff. We have some super dope and fresh graffiti, letterwork, bombing and tags, but nothing is perfectly sprayed so effectively that it leaves you unsure whether it's been painted or printed on. A leopard does not change his spots meaning we should see plenty more artwork from Hazard to leave us in awe. The leopard is so realistic, no small animals will even go by out of fear of becoming prey. I wouldn't be able to take a photo of a real leopard that's this good, so she's truly captured a leopard and I can almost hear it roar. It is my second favourite piece after Jeff, which is coming up soon, and the next image is a big vibe to me as well. She has a great way of applying paint to anything and making me feel for the subject. So for the leopard, it makes me feel so bad that humans hunt this majestic creature and only for their gain. Anyone that's ever shot a leopard should be reincarnated as a dustbin or a condom or maybe a conservative MP. This piece here has a message behind it. She sprayed this for Suicide Awareness Day and it is a cause we can all get behind considering the biggest threat to a man under age 50 is themselves and of course suicide affects women as well i just use that statistic because it's such a brutal crunching statistic or fact to hear about suicide in men but of course women are afflicted with this too symbols and messages around the city to help us remind us to help remind us that there are people out there that care and there's things and places we can do and go to when we're at our lowest on top of having a great message socially, this is just a lovely sunflower to have in Stokes Croft. I love Stokes for a plethora of reasons and the sunflower now goes straight to the top of all the other reasons. We also have this piece here which was done at the start of lockdown and as you can see it was done quite a while ago. The sunflower isn't there on the bin next to it. Hazard has a decent online presence with an Instagram which he regularly posts to and a great story to watch. I will add here, she's a cultured woman with top culinary taste and is always leaving me bloody hungry. Also, she's quite funny and always has me laughing at the stuff she's doing on that day. It is Insta where I was asking her about Jeff and the video on screen right now is Jeff. 
uh, but I was asking the questions about him and other questions and I found out that big issue Jeff hasn't had a photo taken with the image yet which has to happen her website is full of content uh, stuff to read there's a little read up on herself as well I found out from the website she runs courses and workshops on graffiti and street art so that's a real great way to, uh, a service to provide the community with and she isn't gatekeeping her skills she wants other women to achieve what she has and to excel I just want to veer away from the scripts quickly on this piece here in particular so in Stokes Croft right now you should go and visit it because there's something really special about this the this image of a woman is so powerful and so beautiful that I was talking about it and my girlfriend started getting jealous I started describing her lips and how luscious and big they are and she was just right I thought I was gonna get this mean right hook and I mean if it was a real person I would totally deserve it like trying to describe this individual but it wasn't it, maybe it is an image of a person but I was just describing the image and it blows me away what's the word it leaves me in awe okay right it is a powerful piece and like uh, the thing about street art it's visible to the public I know I can pile them up on here but if you're in Bristol, honestly, come down and see this because you'll, it'll leave you standing there for a few minutes. Oh, and the place here is a pay how you feel kind of restaurant or pay. It's the, so if you have no money or you're homeless, essentially, you can go and get some food. As I was collecting this piece in Stokes Croft and I did the classic thing was turn up. Well, just leave the house, grab a bag, grab the phone, da -da 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 -da, as you do. And I arrived. And guess what I had forgot. I apologize for the lighting on the final shot and I should have returned on the evening so you can see the proper colors because it's kind of saturated at the minute the way I filmed it. A perfect background for a restaurant I will add because of how warm and peaceful it is. I'm glad I finally compiled all the works of Hazard because I really enjoyed it. It's just been stunning to stand and stare at them and just take in the warmth. She's talented with a conscience and you can't ask for more when it comes to a graffiti artist another name for your list and I imagine one being put quite high up on the personal rankings too if you made it this far in the video don't forget to leave a like and thanks for watching piece of the week this Wednesday is a complete crazy one so don't miss out I mean this is a back-breaking piece of work I don't know how they've done it so shout out to them but you'll see on Wednesday and again thank you and thank you to Hazard as well for I mean blessing the city with all the beauty Shout out to you.